In this video, I'll give you some important tips to up your game in Kaggle competitions and teach you everything you need to know about taking part in a Kaggle competition from joining a competition to submitting the results. And we're starting right now. If this is your first time here and want to build a career in data science, machine learning or deep learning, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so that you don't miss anything. This is video number two in the series on the best data science resources post COVID-19. If you have not watched the first part yet, there will be a link down in the description. So let me go to this competition called M5 Forecasting Accuracy. So it says estimate the unit sales of Walmart retail goods. If you want, you can also pin the competition by clicking this pin to yours. So let me click on this. Let's go to this competition. And for each of the competitions, there will be details like overview and then data where it has published the data set. So this has been hosted by University of Nicosia. There are three, six, six, four teams and two months to go until the competition ends. And then here are the notebooks and then here is the discussion section, the leaderboard, then rules and then here's the team. So let me go to the overview section. So here there's the description of the problem statement. First, I would advise you guys to start off with less competitive competitions so that you don't lose your focus and interest. Usually research based competitions have less competition. And then later you can move on to high competitive competitions because those kinds of competitions focus and inspire you to learn a lot. Under the evaluation section, you'll find instructions on how to submit your predictions. That is the submission file. So here, for example, it says that each row should contain an ID, which is a concatenation of the item ID and the store ID. That is the store from which the item has been purchased. And then you will have to accordingly follow the instructions. Then when you go to the timeline section here, you can find the different times where each step has to be performed here. For example, it says that on June 1st, all the training labels were released. And then by June 23rd, you have to join the competition if you want. And then June 23rd is also the date where you have to finalize all the teams. Then June 30th will be the final submission timeline. The prizes section says that the first place gets 25 grand, second 10 grand and so on. And then let me go to the data section. So here we can find all the data files required for the project. Here there are five files. Here you can see that under data sources, there are five files. The whole size of the data set is 30 MB. And then this calendar.csv, sales train validation.csv, sample submission, and then the sell prices. Each of the data set has a number of columns. And then when you click on this, under the column section, here you can see the names of all the columns in that data set. And then when you change the data source, you can see the column names accordingly. And then when you scroll down for the selected data set, you can see all the columns and rows. Here, by default, the detail view would be selected. Here we can see that there are 30,490 unique values. And then you get some statistical understanding of the values in each of the columns. Here it says that department ID is a categorical variable. Here we can see that. So foods three contributes to 27% of the whole data. And then here we can just see 20 of 100 columns. You can download this data set to your local computer by clicking the download option. If you want to download all of the data sources, you can click the button download all. Now let's go to the notebook section for this competition. So here under the public section, we can see all the notebooks that have been made public by the Kaggle community. Under your work section, you can see if you have made any notebooks. Out of all the publicly available notebooks, you can also search by a particular category. For example, if in the output there are only visualizations or data files or both of them. And then you can also filter by languages such as Python, R, SQL and Julia. And then here in the tag section, you can search for a particular tag that has been attached to the notebook. So let me search for beginner. And then I can select the beginner tag and then whatever notebooks are being displayed will be belonging to that tag. Discussion section is one other very important section on the Kaggle competitions because if you have any doubts or have additional inputs for a particular problem you can post here and then the community will react accordingly. And then on the leaderboard you can find your rank. There's a public leaderboard and then the private leaderboard. These two are different because these are determined based on different section of the data set. Then here you can find all the rules. Suppose here it says that the maximum team size should be five. Then you can only submit five times a day. It, it also shows that we can choose any one of the submissions for judging. Then under the team section, you can form your team. 
you can name your team. The other tip is don't lose out on domain specific knowledge. With the domain specific knowledge, you'll be able to make a right prediction or select the right feature. And you can also think of it from a different perspective. Make sure to subscribe so that you can get more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Click on this playlist on the screen to learn how to work on real world data science projects.